page six, Down in the Valley. It's a very common folk song. I think about every piano student learns piano has played this piece at one time or another in some arrangement. And this is kind of a nice arrangement, kind of, sort of, a little. Three, four time. All the white keys, no sharps or flats anywhere. It's okay. Now, something about hand positions and fingering and all. There's, you can have quite a bit of distance between your thumb and your index fingers. And we take advantage of that in piano when we need to. We don't have quite so much distance between the other fingers. But between that thumb and hand, oh, that's cool. Well, if you look at the beginning of this, you have the thumb here and your second finger is way up here. And it could go a lot more than that, too, and sometimes. But this is quite common. So really, we're in this position to start. It's a little weird. That's different. But it's doable, and it happens up here. So that's really the position we're in to start. One, two, three, one. Remember, a dotted half note is the same as three quarter notes. Just know that. And then second line, last two measures. Now this back to the extended position because the thumb stays there. It doesn't come up. It stays there. But now you're going to stand out to the, here and you're going to use that. Rather than this, this. The extended position. See, that's the chord. It's just a broken chord. We're playing it one note at a time. One, two, three. And then claps come up. Now we're in this position. It's like we don't know where we want to go. And at the end of that line on page 7, the first line, you're going to lift up and come down, thumb again. I don't like using the same finger twice like that. Sometimes we have to, and this is fine. Just do, just lift up and move. And do that again. Because really, your hand, for the most part, at the end of the first line on page 7 is here. For the most part, the hand is staying here. You're just bringing the thumb down. Although the hand is coming down, so the second finger is on the C. Here. Don't bring the whole hand down and then have to put the hand back up here. Leave the hand where it is, just move the thumb where it needs to go. Third line down, uh, in the middle of the line, extended position. The clubs. And that C is held out forever. You see the tie after tie after tie, they've chained them together. You just play it once and that's it. And then you wait for the left hand to finish doing what it's doing and then you're done. Speaking of left hand, you have broken chords. You got one chord. Second line, five seven chord. It's a common pattern in three four time, that's fine. Then uh, over on page seven in the second line, a different kind of broken chord is pattern, it's a different pattern. It's one chord, and the next line is five seven chord. Last line, you have 5-7 chord, then a 1 chord, then a 4 chord, and then the extended position for the left hand. So you're going to reach out to the octave, and now these two notes are going to be played with 4 and 2. That's the fingering for the chord when you do this. I highly recommend it. It's showing 4. A lot of books will use 3. I disagree with that. I, a 4, really. If you can. So it's to stay there as you come out because you're you're over there's no more notes coming so once you're done with that you can clasp here you don't have to stay in that position you can if you want to put the hands together just make sure you hold these tied notes down Fourth, let's go down to the last line. You're here on page seven. Here, because you're holding that down, you just from here. And the fermata at the end, you just hang on to that for a while. I'm gonna, uh, with a metronome, I'll hold that six counts instead of three. Then you can add the phrasing. Lift up, like taking a breath. Lift up. Just lift it up each time. In the left hand, you play it. Well, they don't give you articulation. I connect the first two beats, and then I. It's a um chuck chuck um chuck chuck. They're not real short. Could be. It's a way of interpreting it, but no, they're just separated. On 
page 7, second line, I just connect all these together. Except for the rest. And that's the challenge here. Now, for the second line on page 7, when you put the hands together, you're going to lift up in the right hand, but not the left. Right there. I lift it up here, but not here. So... Here I lift up in the left, there's wrist. Lift up, lift up in the right hand, but not the left. So forth, so lift up there. Dynamic, well, it's to the melody, it's soft. Whatever you think soft is. The left has to be very soft, it's got to be in the background. You're going to crescendo up a little bit, just moderately soft. Here, keep the left hand very soft. And the arrow at the end of the first line on page 7 really isn't necessary because once you play a note, it dies away anyway. But it doesn't hurt. Just make sure the left hand stays under that note. We want to hear that C for the full two measures, so don't drown it out with the left hand. soft here. Let me go back to moderately soft. And at the end, we want to hear that C all the way through to the end. Don't drown it out. So you're going to have to make the left hand really get soft. Even when I play that note, I still want to hear that note. Good luck with that. Don't use the soft pedal as cheating. You do it with the fingers. Now they've added pedal there at the end of the hair, and again I disagree with that. This has all been dry and clean and everything, no pedal. I would not add pedal for the end. I mean, you want to die away. I don't want to add more overtones to it there, because if I add pedal there, that last four measures, It's all this over pedal at the end, and I disagree with that effect. Some people like it. If you like it, by all means do it. But I don't like it, so I'm not going to do it. Speed-wise, well, this is common. If you were going to sing it, how fast would you sing it? It's a personal thing. How fast do you feel a moderate speed? It's the flow of the piece, not the beat. So it's whatever down in the valley is to you. I'd like to play it with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythm. So I'm not going to do the dynamics, but I'll do the phrasing, the, that kind of stuff. So I'll give us three counts since it's in 3-4 time. Let's just try it together slowly. One, ready, go.